Capricorn, what up though? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this will be your general reading, general reading for the end of November for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, take a deep breath with me, Cappy. Let's uh, clear this space real quick. Capricorn, this is amazing energy right here. This is big, actually. I'm going to say this is big, all right? So in the recent past, we've got the um, the Nine of Swords and the Two of Wands with the Seven of Wands. It looks like you have you were having some anxiety about where you are going to go moving forward, about what's next. It looks like you were... Really, really tripping over that, really thinking about it heavy. It could be, could have been causing stress and anxiety. Um, also, I feel like there was a lot of conflict around you and you were sort of having to stay in your power and protect your bubble, drown it out, keep it all out, um, which has you right now in the death rebirth, ace of wands and the four of cups. So what I'm getting for you, Capricorn, with this is that you are gaining clarity. You are figuring out what needs to go in your life. What is not working out? You are getting clarity into what puts you in these funky moods. And I feel like this is a message to you, Capricorn, saying... Be thankful for where you are, are at and what you have right now, okay? You're in a death rebirth process. Um, and you are super blessed. No matter how hard the energy feels right now, the divine is bringing you in a brand new beginning, okay? For the end of November, we got the Queen of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Pentacles. This is taking action, okay? This is taking action and moving forward. This is being divinely guided, okay? This is also graduating to the next level. This is divine uh, knowledge and wisdom. This is, like I said, ultimately, though, being guided, the Hierophant representing source, the Queen of Wands, being guided by spirit, taking action, finding her passion, Capricorn. It feels like you are moving forward with this amazing idea that you have or this gift that you have. You're taking it and you're moving forward. So this Knight of Pentacles isn't the fastest energy. It's slow and steady wins the race, but it looks like you have been resting, taking care of yourself. Um, sort of just chilling, trying to heal, meditating. This Four of Swords is about chilling, big chilling. Um, these two wanted to come out, this Ten of Wands and this Wheel, um, with the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck, actually. So it looks like things are being balanced out. It looks like you've really been going through a rough time, having anxiety, a lot of outer conflict. I feel, Capricorn, like you've been standing in your power, though. I feel like you've been sitting in your power. I feel like you are have been in your own world, sort of um, just getting your ish together. I feel like you're aware that you're going through this death and rebirth. And regardless, whether you get down sometimes and maybe be a little focused on what went wrong or focused on the past or these empty cups here i think deep down you know that there is a full cup from the divine 
right next to you. I think if you just tweaked your focus a little bit, okay, you would see how blessed you truly are. Um, and it looks like you are seeing that here at the end of November and moving forward with it. This, this wheel of fortune is bringing in mad balance, okay? It's bringing the end of this cycle, the end of this four of cups and nine of swords and defensive seven of wands energy. This is the end to that cycle, Capricorn. Spirit is going to be bringing you in happiness, fulfillment okay the ten of cups is having everything you want it's fully fulfilled it's all ten cups um and this ten of wands is saying anything that's weighing you down drop it leave it behind because the universe is giving you this opportunity to move forward okay um so um, oh. stay strong see that strength card see that chariot card capricorn this is all great energy this is divine guidance this is moving forward this is a brand new opportunity i feel like you are doing something you're passionate about i feel like you are really making magic happen right now look at that you're fully in your power capricorn anything that is no longer serving you anything that is keeping you bound okay let it go let it go and listen to that inner voice moving forward um that is your guides leading the way Let's see what we got with these romances and for my cappy what do we have for the end of november for my capricorn spirit thank you very soon decide what you want so it can manifest and separation in reverse also give your relationship a chance i feel like you need to decide what you want very soon because whatever you're thinking about is going to manifest whatever energy that you're in cap is going to manifest it's going to come to fruition i feel like if you are in separation um, that the separation will be over soon. And the only reason I'm saying that is because on the bottom of the deck, we have give your relationship a chance. It says work on your partnership. So that could be a new partnership or an old partnership, but it's looking like this past life relationship, true love. It looks like some of you are in separation from your divine counterpart right now. It looks like you will be coming together very soon. And if you are not with anybody, this is a message saying that very soon your love, your uh, a divine counterpart is going to be coming into your life. And with that Ten of Cups, that's family, that's love, that's that's fully, that's happiness right there, you guys. That's the picket fence and everything, if that's what you want. If it's not what you want, then it represents everything that you want. Look at this, abundance. Like I said, Cap, fertility. Okay, for some of you, uh, you could be dealing with a pregnancy or that could be something coming in. But what I'm actually getting is all of these seeds that you've planted, okay? All of these seeds that you've planted are sprouting and they're growing, okay? They're going to grow into this beautiful, abundant garden. And you are a Capricorn. You are a hard worker. You know this. This is just spirit saying, keep it up. Keep moving forward. Trust the universe. One more card for my caps. Deluge. Woo! Dreams on the bottom. So with this, you guys, I am feeling like it has been a deserted, dry, uneventful period of time for you guys. But that is over okay i feel like you are about to be flooded with abundance in love in uh finances in stability um in ideas opportunities you are about to be flooded my capricorns this is literally the universe saying look we've been watching you 
We've seen how you bossed up. We've seen how you stayed strong. We've seen all of that wisdom that you've gained in your responsibilities, handling your business, saying that my Capricorns are an influence on their peers, okay? This is representing air, the fact that intellect, air, you made the right decisions, okay? The universe saw that, and now you're about to be big, big, blessed. Universe bringing big balance in, okay? You guys, anything that doesn't work for you needs to be uprooted, okay? Upheaval, it needs to be taken out, cut off, left behind, burned, okay? If it has no potential, leave it in another world, okay? Listen to your inner voice moving forward. That stillness, that is your intuition and that will guide you ultimately to your happiness in this big, big abundance, Capricorn. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if this resonated with you, hit that thumbs up and feel free to subscribe for content on the regular. Deuces, Caps.